This comes from Richard E. I noticed you had some Unreal videos on your channel. Why did you switch to the Gato engine? I, I do have Unreal videos uh, very early on, and I, I, I was working in Unreal, and I love Unreal. Unreal is an amazing engine, an amazing tool. I had some frustrations with it. Ultimately, the you know documentation, learning how to use every part of the engine, it was a little frustrating. The, the documentation, and maybe it's changed, at least for me, the you know, you'd look something up and either nothing would pop up or you'd get a page where there was just like one line um, on that page. And it, it basically said, this is so-and-so node. Like you have no clue what it does or how to use it. That was that was pretty frustrating to, to try to understand certain aspects of, of the engine, especially because they're adding stuff all the time. Like, I don't know if that documentation has improved. I hope so. The other thing is I have very minimal time. Uh, Stay-at-home dad. I've got other jobs that I do. I'm not just making videos all the time. The the time that I have to to sit down and be creative in the the realm of game development is pretty small. And so I didn't want to just sit and watch things load all the time. And just even switching between projects, I got a great idea. I'm gonna work on this thing and you close that out and you open something up in Unreal, that takes time. It takes time to, to load everything, that the shaders, and that might have improved since then, but at, at least at the time, it was frustrating. And I, I began to see the Gato engine, the little blue robot thing popping up everywhere. There was a video, and I can't remember what video it was. I'll have to find that. It popped up, I watched it, and I was like, hey, that looks that looks pretty interesting. Let's try this out. So I went to the site. I downloaded it. I was amazed that it was one file, one executable, and I opened it up. I was a little underwhelmed, to be to be frank. It, it's not the most beautiful UI. Uh, it's not super clear about where everything is. I mean, it doesn't just wow you, right? With like Unreal does. My initial impression was very like, well, this is interesting, but it's not it's not Unreal. But I, I tried it out. I made a video about it. I tried it out. I began to really get used to the, the, the workflow of the engine itself. And like there were things that I did not like about Unreal, they were sort of answered with uh, the Gato engine. So I, I, I think I kind of like categorize it into three um, separate things. The first thing is speed. Like it is, it is quite a difference to go from sitting there waiting for things to load and then you can just open up uh the gato engine and it's just it's just there right and not only just there but you can open up multiple instances of the engine multiple projects and it's like no big sweat that's pretty cool that increase in in work speed and being able to sit down and just work on something instead of i gotta have everything closed I got to restart my computer. I got to free all the memory. I've got to, you know, do all these things to just have it run properly. I didn't have to worry about that anymore. I could just open it up and it was, it was there. It worked. So the speed was a huge thing. The, the other aspect is, um, I, I love GDScript. I think it's incredibly easy to get into. I did really enjoy blueprints with Unreal and I'm very, visual. I know a lot of people say that, but I really do feel I'm pretty visual in how I can, can see things and remember things. Being able to just code and write everything out and see it in front of you and not have it be every which way on the screen, it was a breath of fresh air. You know, I was a web developer for a very, very long time, and it kind of felt like taking the best part of, of that job that I, I did and incorporating it back into something else that I'd like to do. And so GDScript for me, at least, was a, was a very big plus. You know, learning also, uh, my third point, that it's open source and there's so many things that are positive that come with that. I just philosophically, I, I feel better about that. I, I like that it's a community-driven piece of, of software that someone doesn't just own it and can control it and change it. I'm not saying that the, the act of, of commerce is, is, the, is the end of the world. It's not always great, but everyone has a right to do that, right? And you have a, a, a game engine like Unity, 
which again is an amazing tool. Lots of people that love what they do and are great at what they do have put blood, sweat, and tears into that engine. But then someone else from the outside can come on in and make a decision that can crumble it, right? That sucks. You don't want that. The, the nature of the open source, the fact that it's it's more stable in that way, like there's not going to be somebody coming in to drastically change how licensing works or you know what part of it that you do or do not own or what you can do with it. It doesn't matter. Like it's open source. Download the engine, rename it, Billy Joe Bob's game engine plus and sell it. And you're legally okay to do that. Not that that would work, but you could do it if you wanted to. The open source thing is great. So I love that. In fact, uh, you know, tying that in fourth point, the community around the Gato engine, I is a huge plus, I, I believe. There seems to be so little negativity in the community. I, I know that there is some negativity, but overall, I, I, I've had a, a very positive experience with anyone who's directly affiliated with uh, the Gato engine. And just the community as a whole is, is very open to the learning process, open to sharing what they're working on, open to making the engine better or, or talking about it. And that's a huge plus for me. Yeah, I, I feel like all of those things really drew me to the engine. And ultimately, that's why I switched. You can use whatever tool that you want. It doesn't, if, if you're serious about game development, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. So at least that's what it was for me.